Hi, my name is um, Mehram Osama Parist. Um, um, my thesis um, title Radiometric Receiver for um, Measuring Redshifted um, 21 Centimeter Neutral Hydrogen During EOR. Um, um, just um, a very simple view of, um, of the um, epoch of ionization. Um, um, <coughs> we, we know that after the Big Bang the universe was, um, was dark and it, um, and it was um, expanding and uh, we only uh, left with neutral hydrogen um, and um, when, when the stars started to, um, to form um, we uh, progressively uh, the uh, neutral hydrogen was ionized and um, that's in that area which is um, um, about a billion years after Big Bang that's um, the called the epoch of ionization um, during EOR, um, we know that neutral hydrogen uh, would um, emit um, emission line, um, which, which are very distinct. And um, when the galaxies started to uh, to form, they would ionize the neutral hydrogen and cause the emission lines to vanish. Um, and then um, today we can learn how and when the re reionization happened. Uh, by studying the presence and disappearance of um, this um, emission line uh, we refer to as the uh, global signal. Um, the, so the global signal is, is basically a, like a foot, footprint of the primordial hydrogen atoms um, that are around at um, 21 centimetre or 1420 megahertz uh, which by now would have been redshifted to a uh, low frequency of uh, 50 and 250 megahertz. Um, the, basically the 21 centimeter emission line there occur in neutral hydrogen due to the fact that um, the electrons flip from parallel um, from uh, spin from a parallel spin to a non-parallel spin uh, from, a uh, from a higher energy level to a low energy state and um, as a result they emit photons. So when the objects in the early universe they, um, they start to form uh, they emit photons and in turn they, um, they heat the nearby neutral hydrogen uh, atoms and then they cause the 21 centimeter line radiation in the neighboring um, areas. So the change in the line strength uh, versus the frequency will tell us uh, what was happening at different um, times. Uh, and will help us um, um, to uh, to, pro uh, to get some information uh, during that epoch. Um, the observation of this signal is um, quite challenging, and um, it's due to its uh, very small uh, value of in tens of uh, millikelvin. Um, uh, against the um, foreground contaminants that we will have. Um, uh, the sky, the sky noise of thousands of Kelvin and more, um, but um, we assuming that the reionization um, would occur rapidly, we expect that the global signal um, would have a step signature, and um, against the, the varying um, uh, uh, term in the in the background in the sky background noise. Um, so the detecting of that global signal, um, we would uh, we could we could extract that um, hopefully with a um, with a using a very sensitive and highly um, calibrated receiver uh, with um, with long integration um, times. Um, so the um, the proposed um, experimental system consists of a broadband antenna and a broadband uh, uh, receiver and uh, a high-speed digital backend uh, which is which called the big horns the broadband instrument for the global hydrogen reionization signal um, my project aims at uh, building the receiver block and integrating that with the rest of the system um, the receiver uh, would have a stable front end and well matched to the antenna. Um, it should be um, temperature stable and um, very high selectivity and linearity um, to improve the signal to noise ratio. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to detect the variations in millikelvin. Um, 
that receiver is a radiometric receiver, um, which um, <coughs> the um, uh, w w which which allows us to do a small uh, signal uh, measurements um, even below the noise of the receiver. Um, the um, the receiver that we've chosen is a com as a comparison switch radiometer um, with a resolution um, of um, two times the system uh, temperature divided by the uh, B and tau, which are the bandwidth, and assuming that we can get um, uh, 150k of the uh, re receiver temperature, we uh, the integration time uh, that we would need is about like two days. Um, um, and that's basically it. And that's um, at the moment we are um, uh, building the uh, the digital backend, and I'm uh, processing um, and uh, testing the receiver blocks um, to um, to test. <coughs>